Welcome back to Android Weekly. My name's Jace, and this week we find out about Samsung Galaxy S5's possible release date, and some sad news regarding CyanogenMod, and how we're all getting scroogled. Well, at least according to Microsoft. You see, the tech giant has been ratcheting up their anti-Google campaign as of late, not just with a commercial, but with anti-Google merchandise such as t-shirts and hoodies. And what was Mother Google's official response? Like this. Microsoft's latest venture comes as no surprise. Competition in the wearable space is really heating up. Now, Microsoft, you can say you've been scroogled. Now, I know that some of you said you were amazed by the rumored Galaxy S5 specs. Some of you said, oh, it's probably just all hype and marketing, don't get your hopes up. While others said just the sound of those specs made you aroused. My friend, that was an overshare. TMI. Of course, Android Authority has been trying to dig deep and sort that out, and what we found is that we may not have to wait as long as we thought to see if those rumors are true. According to ET News, the Galaxy S5 will hit production lines in 2014, up to three months earlier than expected, and launch in March or April, again, earlier than expected. Now, this isn't the first time we've heard that Samsung might be interested in launching the Galaxy S model sooner than anticipated, perhaps in order to make up for the slower Galaxy S4 sales. Last week, we shared with you the news that Sayana Jamad, arguably the most popular custom ROM out there, was added to the Google Play Store. This allowed even mainstream users the power to customize their mobile OS the way they wanted, how they wanted it. Yes, I know many of you were just giddy with excitement. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's so sexy. Yes, but sadly I must tell you that CyanogenMod has been removed from the Google Play Store. Because as Google states, it encourages users to void their warranty. Oh my god, I swear, you say that again, I'll give you such a pinch. Yes, I feel your pain, I do, and many other Android enthusiasts are up in arms about it too. But you should know that this isn't much of a conspiracy because Google has been consistent about this, and it's not a first-time event. Google has been consistent in its banning of apps that allow users to root their device and void their warranty. The Easy Root app was banned three years ago, as was the Thunderbolt root and Rage Against the Cage app since then. Dear friends, this story has exploded a bit beyond to where it needs to. You see, Android is open source. It's not open season. There are limits to how far that open source can go. Google will limit the access to any developer who threatens Google's dominance within the Android ecosystem. It's not a conspiracy, it's just a business decision. Now be sure to check out our own Android whisperer, Joe Hindi, who goes into the subject in a little bit more detail. He may have lost his hair, but he has not lost his Android mojo. Move along to Scroogly. In Microsoft's commercial, a Chromebook owner comes in looking to sell their device for some extra cash to go to Hollywood. Rick from Pawn Stars quickly informs the Hollywood wannabe that without Wi-Fi, the Google-powered laptop is, quote, not a real laptop. Never mind the fact that there's a growing number of offline apps. Rick then goes on to explain that this Chromebook is just another way for Google to steal your data and sell ads. He concludes that he can't buy the laptop because he does not want to get scroogled. Scroogled? Who knew? So where to begin, where to begin? I mean, Microsoft is made up of a lot of smart people. They are smarter than me and they must know what I know. And I know that Microsoft's future is not in my mother's generation. My mother's generation may be fooled by this misleading half truth ridden ad and not by a Chromebook, but the next generation, the generation Y, those millennials, they're much smarter than that, and they only want devices that are connected. The Chromebook identifies the things that they really, really want. So it's hard to not look at Microsoft as really desperate in this commercial. And yes, Google does mine our data and sell it for relevant ads. I get that, but I'd rather do that than pay for those services directly, especially because Google does provide some means to manage how that data is used. I can basically turn it on or off right now in my uh, Google account. So, pretty lady, some might say you didn't get scroogled, you got microdicked. Thanks for watching, Android peeps. I always have lots of fun chatting with you here. If you have any questions for this Wednesday's Android Q&A, please put them in the comments below, and I will be sure to get to them. I do read all your comments. Take care. And listen here, buckaroos, if there's any more nasty comments regarding Jace, I swear to God, I will scratch your eyes out. <laughs>